Can I peek it? Hi there, Christian again with Ministry to Children. Today's gospel lesson has to do with the healing of a man who was born blind. So our children's message is going to touch on a couple elements of that. For one thing, we're going to look at the amazing miracle that is the human eyeball. The other thing we're gonna talk about is how there are eyes in our hearts too, in a strange sort of way. So here's how you can incorporate it. Now, I'm using a paper towel tube for this trick that we're gonna do with our eyes. You can also just take a piece of paper and roll it up and it will accomplish the same kind of thing. So if you have a lot of kids or if you don't have a tube lying around because all the stores ran out of toilet paper and paper towels, you can use a paper tube as well. Hello, how many eyes do you have? Yes, you do have two eyes. Most people have two eyes. Now your eyeballs are really amazing things. I'm gonna show you a trick with your eyeball. I'm gonna show you a trick that will make a hole in your hand. And then I'm gonna show you how you can make your hand disappear. You ready? All right, well, take this now. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to take this tube and I want you to hold it up against one of your eyeballs. Keep both of your eyes open and now hold up your hand. So look at your hand with the eyeball that is not covered by the tube. Okay, now looking at your hand, bring your hand right up next to your tube. Whoa! Does it look like a hole just got sliced in your hand? It kind of does. Now take it away. <gasps> Slice it up again. Now take it away. Now, we're gonna make that hand disappear. Are you ready? So, I want you to close the eye that doesn't have the tube. Where did the hand go? You can't see it. Open it again. There's your hand. Close it. Hand is gone. Open, close. Open, close. Whew, that's kind of crazy. Well, why are we doing that? Because your eyes are really amazing, amazing things. Did you know that your eyes most people's eyes at least, can process over 10 million different kinds of color variations. And you can focus on 50 different objects just in a matter of a few seconds. Crazy. And you know also that the images your eyes see are kind of actually upside down and then your brain unscrambles them. Whoa. And did you know you have muscles in your eyes? And those muscles can work all the time. They never get tired. They can keep working and working and working to help you to see. Well, there's all sorts of amazing, fascinating facts about your eyes. And really, your eyes are a miracle because God created them. And he created them so intricately designed and so perfectly that they help you to see. Well, some people have eyes that have slight little variations where maybe they can't see as well. Some people have to wear glasses or contact lenses. And you know, some people can't see at all. Something doesn't quite work with their eyes. Can you imagine if you woke up and all you saw was nothing? Was just like brown or blurry or absolutely nothing? Wow, that might be hard, huh? It would be hard to go through life without being able to look at the TV and see things on it or having to feel your way around. Now, they have lots of things these days that help people who are blind, but it would still be pretty challenging. Well, in today's gospel story, Jesus met a man who was blind. He couldn't see, and he was born that way. He had never, ever in his life been able to see with his eyes. And his disciples were asking him some questions about this. And Jesus said, hmm, let's see. Do you want to see? Would you like to be able to have sight? Well, who wouldn't, right? So Jesus did something very interesting. He scooped up some dirt, and then he spit in it, <coughs> and he made some mud with this dirt, and he put that mud on this man's eyes. It's even worse than cucumbers. And he put it over this man's eyes, and he said, okay, now go and wash up in this pool. And the man did. I mean, must have been kind of strange, this odd person just putting mud on your eyes and saying, go wash it off. But what else is he going to do? And when he washed off the mud, he could see again. And he was just amazed. Whoa, now I can see. What happened? What is this? Now, there were a lot of people, especially some of the church leaders, because 
they didn't like Jesus too much for various reasons, but they were kind of questioning this man and saying, that's not really the guy that was born blind. He's somebody else. He's just a lookalike. Or, well, oh, what really happened? So they were asking this man, hey, who did this to you? How did this happen? Are you really that guy who couldn't see a few minutes ago? And they're asking a lot of questions. And they were being kind of suspicious of what Jesus was doing. And the man said, hey, I couldn't see. Now I can see. I don't know exactly how it happened, but this is pretty awesome. And this is pretty amazing. Can't you take it for the miracle it is? And somehow, these church leaders, these people that were suspicious, they didn't want to see it either. See, they were kind of closing their eyes to what was happening. Did you know that you have eyes in your heart? I mean, you don't really have actual eyeballs and optic nerves down there, but the Bible talks about having, having eyes of your heart that will understand and know. Not eyes that will see images, but a mental acknowledging and understanding of things that are spiritual. Whoa, whew, those were some big words. So the Bible talks about being able to know God and love God and serve God. See, sometimes things happen in our lives that we don't pay attention to, or maybe we don't want to pay attention to, or maybe we don't understand and we don't want to trust God for what it is. That's what was happening in this story. The people that were the church leaders and wanted to be in charge, they didn't want to know that Jesus was doing something amazing. They didn't want to understand what was going on, and they kind of closed their eyes and ignored it and turned the other way because the eyes of their heart were shut and their hearts were blinded to the amazing things that were happening. And the Bible wants us to have our heart eyes open. That is, to be open to what God might be doing in our lives, whatever that might be. And also to pay attention, to look around us. See, it's easy to close our eyes and not pay attention and only pay attention to what's happening in our own lives and to not focus on anything else but what's going on with us. But that's not what God wants. God wants us to look around, to see what he is doing, to recognize other people, to help other people, and to be willing to love and serve God, no matter what. And when we do that, it opens the eyes of our heart when we pray, when we talk to God, when we look around and see his amazing miracles. That helps us be more open to him. Because you can see just fine and have 20-20 vision with your eyes and not need glasses and still be blind in your heart if you're not paying attention to what God could be doing. So let's open our eyes. Let's be amazed by God's work around us, be amazed even by the things in our eyeballs, and appreciate all that he has given us. Why don't we thank him for that right now? Dear God, Thank you for your amazing miracles. Most of all, thank you for Jesus and what he has done for us. Help us to open our eyes, open the eyes of our hearts, Lord. Help us to understand you. Help us to seek you. Help us to look at one another and see your work in our lives. We love you, God. Thank you for loving us. In Jesus' name, amen. Open those eyes, go have fun and make some disciples. See you next time.